In this tutorial, we will learn how to use drop shadows to add a sense of depth and realism to your portraits. If appropriate to the subject, the drop shadow is the easiest of the shadows to create. If our image here did not have a floor, say, something like this, we could use a drop shadow, no problem. So let's assume for the purposes of this tutorial that we don't have a floor on this image. In the professional versions of Photoshop, at the bottom left corner of the Layers palette, there is a small black button with an F in the middle. This is an Add a Layer Style button. Click on that button and select Drop Shadow from the resulting drop-down menu. Within this dialog box is a preview window, but even better, your image previews the effect itself. You can adjust the opacity, distance, spread, and size of the shadow. You can also adjust the angle of the light, which for this image is coming from the left, so we should stay consistent with that to make it as realistic as possible. For Elements users, your drop-down shadow options are more basic. There is a Layer Styles palette available, but it gives only a list of some basic options with limited editability. Although functional under most circumstances, it is probably best for Elements users to create drop shadows manually the same way you would create a cast shadow, which is what we will be doing in the next tutorial.